What's going on you guys? Today I'm shooting a different kind of video. It'll be a DIY on an oil change for a non-Z51 Corvette. In order to do this you're going to need a few different tools. I'm going to go ahead and insert a list of those tools now. As you can see, I'm using a four post lift today. You can use jacks, you can use ramps, you can use a two post lift, but in my opinion, this makes the job the easiest. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is drain the old oil. In order to do this, you need to locate the oil drain plug. On this car, it's right here next to the oil filter on the passenger side. Obviously with a Z51 equipped car, it'll be totally different with the dry sump oil system. Make sure you have something to collect all of the old oil from the car, like so. When you go to remove or to break loose the drain plug, remember it's a 15 millimeter size bolt, so you can use a wrench or whatever you need to do to go ahead and get that off. And then obviously once you get all of the oil draining, give the car some time to drain all of it out. Don't rush as part of the process as it's always best to get all of the old oil out of the vehicle. Now go ahead and remove the old oil filter. Again, make sure you have something in place to collect any oil spills as you remove it. Next, you're gonna to wanna to prepare your new oil filter. I like to label mine just so it's easier to keep track of when the oil was last changed. Also like to pre-fill the filter and spread a thin amount of oil on the seal. After all of the oil has drained out, go ahead and place the oil plug back into the vehicle. Once you have the new filter on, go ahead and tighten it as well as the drain plug. Make sure everything is snug. Then you're going to take a torque wrench and torque down the drain plug. It should be torqued to 18 foot-pounds. Now add oil to the car. Make sure you add six quarts and then check underneath the car for any leaks. I haven't run across any, but that's not to say it won't happen. Now go ahead and start the car. Make sure you have oil pressure upon startup and no check engine lights. So now that we've got the oil changed on the car, the last thing we have to do is reset the oil light. It's really easy. I'm going to go ahead and show how to do that now. I'm going to go ahead and place the car in accessory. I've already scrolled down to find the oil life button, but if you need to find it, it's in your information section. You can just scroll down using these controls here. What you do is go ahead and go to that section. You're going to hold down the select button, and then once you hear that beep, your oil lights reset, so when you go ahead and start the car, which I'll do now, 